Okay, so once you have created your free account over at Canva.com, you are now ready to use the Design with Canva button in SimShare. So you can create and schedule all in one place. Super fun, super easy, fast, convenient, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it right now. So this is your Design with Canva button. You can click on this, and for those of you that have used our button before, you will notice that um, it gives you a drop-down menu now because we have added several templates that you can uh, choose from to you know, come up with your content and create your images and then schedule it accordingly. Now, Instagram does not allow scheduling, but you can still create uh, the you know formatted size for an Instagram post and we can you know get into that later about how you can um, use it uh, to you know go ahead and post on Instagram so I'm going to go and select the Facebook app and that is for a mobile you know the mobile app so the size is a little bit more of a horizontal because it looks better when you're on your mobile device and everything is right here the canva window um, pops up and it's basically the canva website which is inside of Sinshare's interface so all of the components you have are exactly the same as uh, over at canva.com because it is their website so we're just gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna design a little post here um, I'm going to do an engagement post, make this a little smaller so we can see the whole thing. So basically what you want to do is you want to um, you know, make the uh, graphic fit the whole space, um, the background, so I like it like there. And then um, I'm going to do an engagement post uh, being that I love pumpkin and I love fall. Now this you can hardly see, you know, that's definitely not something that you would want to leave. So we're going to go ahead and make it uh, white there. And then I'm going to say, what is your favorite pumpkin recipe? Um, everybody, well, either you love or you hate pumpkin, but for those who are pumpkin lovers like myself, I would like to know if you have a favorite pumpkin recipe. Like my, my aunt makes a killer pumpkin uh, spice roll. It's so good, pumpkin roll. Mm, can't wait for that. Um, so, you know, this still is like a little bit busy. Uh, you might want to play around um, with the spacing. So you can do that here. I'm just showing you a couple of your um, options, you know, so you can play around with the letter spacing, you can play around with the height of things. Um, and so, you know, I like to do this. I like to go over to elements and go to shapes. And um, these are all free, so that's really fantastic. And I just go ahead and um, use the guides and kind of like try to see, uh, you know, where, like, I want the text to go on top of this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go on a, to arrange and then click on back. And I mean, that's nice, but it kind of doesn't match all that well. So I'm going to go and change the color. And to me, that's a little bit too heavy looking. So I'm going to go ahead and change the transparency. It's just a slider. And so I think that that's nice. You know, maybe we'll make it a little a little less transparent there. So, um, but it still doesn't really look all that finished to me. So maybe I would like to put a border on it. Um, so, you know, it's just Canva's like all about a lot of playing around. So see how when it was up here, it was a little bit too thick of a border. So I'm shrinking it. I'm moving it over. All of these little dots mean that you can, um, you know, adjust things. And then I'm going to put this up here, and I can see that that's centered with all those little dashes. Those are the guides. And I'm going to move that back a little bit so it's like behind the text. Um, and I know, I think that looks good, but I do want to go ahead and put our logo on it because we should always be branding all of our, all of our things that we have here. Um, that we design in Canva because it is our own creation. So you want to give yourself credit for when people share your stuff so they can find you. So either put your logo or put your website or maybe your, you know, name of your Facebook group or however you want people to go and, you know, connect with you. Um, definitely have that. So to me, this looks pretty nice. I think it's ready. And so when you're finished and happy with your design, you just simply click on publish up here.
and uh, it, we, you know, go ahead and, well, Canva goes ahead and, like, prepares it, and then it sticks it right into the Sinshare dashboard. So you're on the Schedule a Post page. You have this here, um, and this, we can just go ahead and um, put your little post message. Uh, what is your favorite pumpkin recipe? Can't wait to hear all the yumminess. And I'm going to go ahead and schedule that for tomorrow, maybe around like 10, let's do 10, 10. And I will put that to my timeline. So we'll see um, who wants to go ahead and contribute to my question. Um, and that's it. So it's super easy. You know, you just click on the Design with Canva button. Now you can choose your template of what you would like. Um, you know, the Pinterest one is vertical. Those are the pinnable images. For Twitter, when we launch scheduling to Twitter soon, you'll be able to tweet with great content and images. So you get retweeted a lot more often. Um, you know, we just love giving you options and helping you simplify things and save you time. So hope you enjoy the Design with Canva button and uh, we'll continue on with the training. <laughs>